the infinite universe, inconceivably vast, where giant stars are mere pinpricks of light. What man can fathom the magnitude of this amazing ocean of life? Are we not but specks in creation? And yet we dare to leave the comfort of our planet and venture forth into boundless space. Is there anything more magnificent to behold than the swirling colors of a planet, illuminated by the pure light of a nearby star? And yet, as beautiful as the universe is, just a few pebbles out of place can cause a catastrophic amount of destruction. Rocks flying through the sky. You do? Where? Right there. <gasps> See? What's up? Please remain calm. There's nothing to fear. This train is equipped with orbit shields, and the railway itself is protected by a magnetic barrier. You're perfectly safe. shield has been compromised. Maximize the power to the magnetic barrier. They're requesting an SDF dispatch. Oh, when it rains, it pours. I'm showing a white hole forming 500 megameters from the accident site. The gravitational pull is increasing. I want the Space Defense Force out there right away. Dispatch the Sirius platoon now. <laughs> So the wheel of fate has begun to turn, and nothing can be done to stop it. Even the mightiest of men are powerless to resist the pull of their own destiny. They rush to it, even if it means their destruction. What's going on? Why hasn't your headquarters sent out a rescue team yet? What are they going to do? Just leave us out here in the middle of space to die? Calm down, everyone. The SDF is on the way. Please go back to your seats and relax until they get here. But we've got injured people on board. This isn't the time for an in-flight movie, you idiot. Here comes the SDF now, thank goodness. All right, people. We need to do this as efficiently as possible. If that barrier breaches, we're sunk. Let's get them the hell out of here. Yes, yes sir. Let go of me! I'm not a criminal! I didn't do anything! You big bully! Uh. 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 I found these two stowaways in the hangar coach, sir. They both claim that they know you, Captain. What do you have to say for yourselves? I'm sorry, Dad. Me too, Dad. <sighs> these boys are your sons, Captain? Well, they were until today. Sorry, Dad. We really didn't mean for this to happen, honest. I want to help you with the rescue mission, Dad. I'll check this one. <sighs> Please, let me help. I want to join the SDF, Dad, like you. Don't be stupid. Does he belong to you? Yes, thanks very much. But she's actually a girl. Of course, Ooh. how silly of me. Captain Yuuki. What is it, Bulge? This is the last of the passengers. We're clear. Very good. Let's get out of here. Right. Many thanks, Captain. Yes, of course. That was quite an ordeal you went through. You should be proud of yourself. Well done. Thank you, Captain. Huh? Check Dad out. Doesn't he look cool? Yeah. Captain, we've got an emergency. What is it? There appears to be a ship emerging from the White Hole. What? at us, sir. Energy blasts on the way. Quick, pull ahead now. Indirect hit, sir. Damn it. Permission to return fire, Captain. Negative. 
We need to get these passengers to safety. We'll only return fire if they pursue. Yes, sir. Incoming fighters. Opening orbit shield, Captain. Pulse cannons ready to fire. On my mark, fire! Get away from there, boys. It's dangerous. Right. Sorry, Dad. <gasps> Dad, I'm scared. Don't worry. We'll be fine. here hello does that thing have wings on it or what how did you get here so fast <sighs> you sure can't put it away mr hoya that's because i work so hard what about you Mamoro? you can't deliver food forever what are you gonna do after you graduate i don't know you're gonna join the sdf aren't you huh? i thought so off to the universe you know, if I were your age, I'd go too. <laughs> hey, Mamoru! I know that voice. He's back! He's on his way to the station! Dad's back! <sighs> I saw Big One coming in! But Dad's not due back yet. Mom told us the schedule. Let's go see! Come it's on! It's against the rules! You can't go into the station without a pass! What are you, crazy? But those are SDF rules, right? Well, I'm not in SDF, so there! Manabu, wait! Don't be a party pooper! Dad's here! Tell Mom we'll be home in a little while! <sighs> this is easy enough. Who needs a pass anyway? Pass mass. Is there a problem here? We found an intruder, sir. Yes, I see. I'm afraid he happens to be my son. <sighs> Dad, you're back! I knew it! You could have been killed! <sighs> what would your mother and I do if we lost you? Come now, let's go home. By the way, how did you get past the guard bots? That's a secret. The SDF can't know everything, right? <laughs> I guess not. Dad, do you get to stay a while? I'm afraid not. Same as always, huh? I guess it's not easy having a ship's captain for a dad, is it? I know how you can make it up to me. How's that? By taking me aboard, Big One. Sorry, I can't do that. Why not? It's against the rules. You have to be an SDF member to go aboard a space train. But that's just it. I'm not a member of the SDF, so the rules don't apply to me. <laughs> Good try. All right, then. I'll do it. Do what? I'll join the SDF. When I grow up, I'm going to be a captain in the Space Defense Force, just like you. <laughs> hey. 
Hey, boy, how are you? Welcome, have a seat. <gasps> you didn't know it was me, did you? Where have you been? Your father's gonna hear about this. He already has. You look lovely, Kata. Wataru, you're back. You're blushing, Mom. You're all red. That's enough, young Dad, man. Dad, you're back. Told you, Mamoru, that was big one. I was right. Hello, Mamoru. It's good to see you, son. You too, Dad. We really missed you. I missed you too. Remember your promise, Dad? You said you'd play catch with us, remember? The next time you came in, remember? I did say that. Mamoru, are you ready? <laughs> nice one. Now, show me that split finger fastball, Manabu. Bring it on. <laughs> All right. You asked for it. <laughs> hey, not bad. Mamoru, your turn. All right, Dad, but look out. I've been practicing. Hmm. <laughs> What's wrong? <laughs> Just a little too much heat for your old man. Catch it in the web, not in your palm. I think I'm the one who taught you that. Well, you obviously forgot. <laughs> well, that's it for me, boys. Oh, come on, Dad. I have to spend time with your mother, too. Ew, they're gonna get mushy. <laughs> There's something else, aren't they? <laughs> they love it when you're here. They're both such good boys. They're growing up fast. That's for sure. Full count. Bases are loaded. Strike three. He's out of there. Thank you, Kana. You're doing such a good job. <laughs> what are you, Uki, here? Yes, I understand. Pick me up on your way. You're leaving already? Sorry, Kana. The meteorites have hit a train and it's stalled. Let's not tell the boys yet. I'll wait till morning. I'm so sorry, Kana. It's not your fault. I have something for you. For me? It's for your birthday. I know it's a little early. Oh, Wataru, it's beautiful. Just come home safely. I will. Good evening, Bulge. Captain? Hold it. <laughs> Just where do you think you're going? Isn't it a little late? Please don't tell. I'm going to see Dad off. I have to Mamoru. Be quiet. Look, give us away. <gasps> Manabu, where are we going? To the platform, silly. Where do you think? I can't see. Slow down. Serious platoon. We've been assigned to rescue a damaged train. The safety of our passengers is our number one priority. Let's get them back safe and sound. Yes, Captain. Begin takeoff sequence now. Magnetic barriers are intact. Atomic boiler pressure rising. Must be out of my mind. Would you feel better if we had a pass? Yeah. Do you have one? No. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Mamori, over there. Huh? That's big one. <laughs> I've never seen it this close. It's awesome. I wonder if Dad's on board already. He must be. Intruder alert! Intruder <gasps> alert! Don't move or we'll shoot. Come on. Right. Stop. Atomic boiler pressure is a go. Cylinder valves are open. The main circuit is online. All systems green, Captain Yuguki. Awaiting your command, sir. You're gonna have to leave me behind, Mamoru. I can't keep up with you. This is your final warning. Grab a hold. I can't go on. Full ahead. Kill us all right. Maybe we should jump train. Are you crazy? Goodbye, Wataru. It's so beautiful. <sighs> Manabu, 
Munabu, can you hear me? Wake up, son. It's me. Dad? Yes, son. I'm here. Let's get you back on your feet. Dad, you're bleeding. You're hurt. I'm more worried about Manabu. Are you all right? Uh-huh. I feel fine, Dad. You boys are brave and strong. I'm proud of you both. <laughs> Captain, they're almost out, sir. They'll clear the hole in five minutes. We can't let that happen, Bulge. I understand, sir. Captain, you're wounded. It's nothing. Launch all deep space fighters immediately. Be all right. Boys, I'm sending you back to your mother. You'll both be fine, I promise. For real? Mm -hmm. Captain? All right then, serious platoon. It's time we show this enemy that our true strength goes beyond guns and steel. Yes, yes Captain. Captain. From this moment on, I'm placing the command of this platoon in the hands of First Officer Schwanheld Bulge. What do you mean, Captain? Listen, I want all of you to move into the coach block. I'll use Big One as a decoy to distract the enemy. Use auxiliary power to get yourselves out of here. Support ships will be arriving soon. What about you, Dad? Big One's no match for that ship! What's gonna happen to you? Listen, boys. Whether I make it through this or not, one thing will never change. I will always be your father. Always. Mamoru, you have no idea how proud I am of you, son. Manabu, I'm counting on you. Please, son, take care of your mother for me. She needs you. You're much stronger than you realize. Uh, no, Dad! Don't do it! You can't just leave us! Anabu. Please, Dad. All of you, evacuate to the coach block immediately. Bulge, this ship is under your care now. To our commander and friend, Captain Yuuki. Manabu, I love you. No, Dad! Don't leave us! I can't live without you! Goodbye, my sons. This universe has been my home, but I must leave it for the ocean of spirit. Be brave, boys. I will always be with you. Father. Destroyer. Affirmative, Captain Yuki. Connor, it'll be long this time, my love. I'm sorry. <gasps> Supreme Commander. Are you really going, Mataro? Then I will escort you. I am destiny. I am sure.
I'm sorry, Kana. Wataru was more than a commander to me. He was my best friend. Mamoru, are you certain this is what you want? Yes, Mom. There's no doubt in my mind. All right then, son. Manabu, take care of Mom for me, okay? You can count on me! I know I can, Manabu. I know I can. Take care, Mom. I love you. I love you too, son. Oh. There he is! The next great Yuuki is taking off! Go, Mamoru! Bon voyage! Bon voyage! Well, now. The dream has become a reality. Take care. I will, Oya. Thanks, guys. Gosh, I sure wasn't expecting all this. Wait a second. Where's your pass? All right, move along. This is it. Once I enter, there's no turning back. Nabu? Is he crazy? What are you doing? I want to give you something! Here, Mamoru, catch! Bye, Manabu! Mamoru! Plagued by visions of his father's demise and beset with a torrent of emotions, Mamoru Yuuki courageously set off on his adventure into boundless space. But what lay ahead was most unexpected. Hello, Galaxy Diner. Yes, she is. Mom, phone! Hello, Kana speaking. I can't know. This is your <gasps> Mom? What's the matter? Are you alright? What happened? This is your okay. Are you still there? Who is this? Yes, I'm his brother. What? Mamoru's dead? On the next Galaxy Railways, the space train I board slips into a different time axis and I meet Mamoru, who's supposed to have been dead for five years. Our dream of serving in the SDF together comes to life, but the experience is bittersweet. See you next time on the Railways. physical plane. Man sets sail and travels this grand ocean fueled by his hopes and dreams, but sometimes his dreams are crushed and his anguishing heart can only see a dark, cold, and lonely place. What are you doing? The moral catch! You were all I had. Why did you have to die? It's not fair! scared. Not anymore. Manabu Yuuki, you get in here right this second. Mom, what's wrong? Don't give me that, Manabu. You know exactly what's wrong. I do? <laughs> Mom, I really didn't do anything. Not this time, anyway. Don't lie, Manabu. But I'm not lying. This is my rail pass. I've been accepted. <laughs> accepted to what? The SDF cemetery?
What's that, Manabu? A love letter? Hey, who's the lucky girl? How could you join the SDF behind my back, Manabu? This is unforgivable. But it's my life. You mean it's your death? First your father, then Mamoru. And now you expect me to lose you too? Mm. Well, I won't let you go. Never! Come on, Mom. No, Manabu, absolutely not. If you insist on joining, you're no longer my son. Kana, let's not lose our heads now. Manabu was accepted. That doesn't mean he's going. I don't know. Manabu's going to come and work with us in the mine, aren't you? No, I'm not. I'm going into space, and that's that. <sighs> she didn't mean it. She just doesn't want to lose you too, Manabu. That's all. Wataru Yuuki, what should I do? He's just like you. He's exactly like you. Dad. Please, son, take care of your mother for me. She needs you. You're much stronger than you realize. Manabu. Take care of mom for me, okay? You can count on me. Dad, Mamoru, I have taken care of mom, but I have to follow my heart. I can't give up my dream. I have to leave her now. It's time, off to the grand ocean. Goodbye, mom. I'll be back as soon as I can. Bye, Shitaro. Manabu, wait a second. Take this. You're going to get hungry on the train later. I love you, Mom. I love you too. Bye! The space train on track three will be departing for destiny in two minutes. Huh? You're kidding me. Well, I'll be damned. Now I've seen it all. Looks like I won't have to be chasing you out of here anymore. Welcome to the Space Defense Force, Mr. Yuki. Thanks. I appreciate it. Space train 550 heading for planet destiny through the Alta Nebula. We will be stopping at Hope and Zetsubo on the way. Please note that our route will be taking us by the time route. We ask that you keep your windows closed while we pass it because we will be experiencing electromagnetic interference. Thank you. I don't even know what a time knot is, do you? Sure. It's an anomaly with a different time axis. I've heard that a lot of trains have wrecked there. Well, that's comforting. I didn't mean to scare you. Uh. <laughs> I'm not scared. My name's Louise Fort Drake. You can call me Louise. What planet are you from? Don't you shake hands there? Sorry, I'm a Nabu Yuuki. Manabu, huh? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. <laughs> well, it's nice to know that there's more than one SDF member on this train. What do you mean by that? I mean that yours truly is an SDF member too. Awesome. How old are you anyway? I'm almost 20. You look much younger than that. More like a boy than a man. Thanks a lot. It's not an insult, silly. It just means that you'll age gracefully. Yeah, whatever. How old are you, anyway? I just turned 18. What? You're kidding. Do I look older or younger? Older. Everyone thinks I'm older than I really am. I don't understand why. It's because you're a know-it-all. I'm not a know-it-all. Look, I was only trying to help. Yeah, well, just keep your opinions to yourself, all right? You're the one who asked. What was I supposed to say? 
You don't know much about girls, do you, Manabu? I know enough. <laughs> we are approaching the time knot. Please close the cabin window. Close that, would ya? I'm too old and decrepit to reach. Excuse me, will one of you please just close the window? <sighs> what are you doing? I, I didn't do that on purpose. Are you out of your mind? <sighs> I'm gonna check out the engine room. I'm coming too. Please return to your seats. Look, we want to know what's going on. Our train has derailed. We've slipped into the time knot. <laughs> Send Big One. Alert the Sirius Platoon immediately. Sirius Platoon is deploying, Commander. System check. Stand by for system check. Orbit network radar ready. Big One is now in takeoff position. Magnetic barrier generator is a go. Cylinder valves are open. Atomic boiler pressure is a go. The main circuit is now online. All energy levels ready for takeoff. The warp drive coupling is now in place. All systems green, Captain Bolt. Awaiting your command, sir. Let's move out. Ahead full. Okay, buddy? Yeah. Mm. Uh, where are we? You're on planet Hakame. You're lucky to be alive. The train crashed. No, it can't be. You're dead. You've taken quite a knock. I can assure you I'm not dead. My name is Mamoru Yuuki. I'm here with my SDF unit, the Space Panzer Grenadiers. I must be dreaming. The Space Panzer Grenadiers? Wow, that's the most elite unit in the Space Defense Force. That's everyone's dream. It's an honor to meet you. My name's Luis. My friend and I just joined the SDF. We were on our way to headquarters when our train crashed. <gasps> Look out! Get down! <sighs> Are you all right? I'm fine. Those vultures attacking civilians. Does this train have a stealth module? Y yes sir, of course! I'll activate the optical camouflage immediately! Good. Now if you want to save the passengers and train, we'll have to act as decoys. It'll be a dangerous first mission, but welcome to the SDF. Follow me! Stay low! <laughs> Who 
whoever hits them gets a bonus. STF swine. Hold on back there, guys. You're not panzers, you're chickens. safe now, at least until morning. Can you tell me if we slipped into a different time axis when we passed through the time knot? I believe so. What year is it now? I estimate that it is five years before the day that we took off. I thought so. What in the world are you talking about? Time shifted. We're in the past now. Huh? If we go back through the time hole before it closes, we should be able to return to our time. But our train's wrecked. Our train has been sending a distress signal since the accident. If the time hole hasn't closed, a rescue team could find us. But what would happen to my brother then? What do you mean, your brother? Our friend. The one who saved us earlier. He's my big brother. He was killed on this planet five years ago in the line of duty. But if he was killed, then that means... That he's going to die soon. It's unavoidable. Well, if a rescue team comes, why don't we take him with us? That would not be advisable. Please follow the Galaxy Railways manual in this matter. What does it say? Article 33, paragraph 2 states that passengers who have time slipped must not intervene in affairs of the past or it can permanently change the future. <sighs> Altering your brother's fate could have serious repercussions. So how can you change a man's <gasps> fate? You can't. Under normal circumstances, that would be impossible. That's for sure. We never know what life has in store for us. If we did, could we accept it? We'll have to move out soon. Staying in one place too long is dangerous. Who are these guys? They're space pirates. Their leader is Guy Sander. Where's the rest of your platoon? They're guarding our base here. We're planning on launching an all-out attack at the crack of dawn. They know that. The enemy, they know. What? They know you're coming. They found out somehow. They're planning to set a trap for you. That can't be. Yes, it can. You're all going to die. They know. I don't believe you. You have to. I'm your brother. Now I know you're lying. I do have a brother, but I'm five years older than he is. I know we look the same age, but that's because I came from the future. It's me. I'm Manabu. Is it really you? It, it is you. Manabu. This is crazy. Meeting my little brother all grown up, it's like an incredible dream. You look great. How's mom doing? Is she okay? Yeah, she's pretty good. I can't believe she let you join the SDF. That must have been really tough. It was. Don't I know. Look, Mamoru, come with us. Just leave this place. I would. But it's just not possible. Why not? You can't interfere with the past, Manabu. It's against the rules. Who cares? I care, Manabu. I care about the future. Besides, I have no intention of dying. Maybe your warning will make a difference tomorrow. I'm a space panzer grenadier, Manabu. When the enemy's at the front door, I can't slip out the back door and run. Dad taught me an important lesson all those years ago on Big One. He taught me the meaning of duty, little brother. I estimate that Sirius Platoon will be arriving soon. Sirius Platoon? That means Captain Bulge is coming. Great, we should be fine then. You know this Captain Bulge? Yeah, you do too. He was Dad's first officer. He gave us Dad's gun, remember? <sighs> Dad handpicked Bulge. We trained him personally. He's the best captain in the force. Awesome. Hold on, guys!
Monado, I need your help. Go right behind us. Here, take it. A gun against a tank? Dream on! I'll take it from here. Get back to 550 and wait for Big One. What about you? No. Huh? <sighs> it's time, Manabu. Get back to the 550. Luis, let's go! <sighs> Pull her up a little closer. Looks like we've got ourselves a Panzer Grenadier. This time he's mine! Split-fingered fastball! The 550 Express is 70 meters dead ahead. I am deactivating the optical camouflage now! Please get on board immediately! Manabu, what are you doing? Mamoru, run! Scum, nobody makes me bleed. Open fire! Get him! Manabu, get on that train! Space Panzer Grenadiers, this is Mamoru. Launch an attack. Big One is attempting a rescue operation and needs support. We copy, Mamoru. Stand by. Slow reverse. Let's hook her up. Yes, Captain. Captain Bulge. The hitch is now connected and locked. Let's take the 550 up slow. We don't want her to break apart. Right, sir. Let's move out. Ahead slow. Hey, Manabu! This is for you! Mamoru! Keep working on that fastball, brother. Mamoru, no! Get on the train! Not this time. It's my destiny to stay on this planet and fight. I don't plan to die. But if I do, the Yuukis will still live on. Do you hear me? We live in you, Manabu. <sighs> no, Mamoru! Find you! Look out! Mamoru. No. Ugh. Damn it. I couldn't change it. Destiny, why are you so cruel? So indifferent? So this is it. I prayed that I wouldn't have to die alone. I still remember Dad's face. But I think I understand now. It's not about me. It's about you. You're the one, Manabu. Fate can seem cruel and arbitrary, but no life lived for others is a waste. No sacrifice is in vain. Every drop of water has its place in the ocean. Every life is a part of destiny's grand design.
Minabu, that woman's name is Layla Destiny. She's the Supreme Commander. Wow, awesome. Cadets, salute your Supreme Commander. Welcome to the Space Defense Force. You are no longer individuals, but part of a team, working together to ensure the safety of our galaxy and the citizens within it. May all that is good protect you and guide you on your journey. Dad, Mamoru, I'm here. Thanks to both of you, I finally made it. Uh, is she looking at me? She is. She's looking right at me. But why? Manabu, you've come at last. I've been waiting for you. When I'm assigned to my dad's old platoon, it's a dream come true on the next Galaxy Railways. But it's far from the heartwarming experience I expected. It seems like everyone's out to get me. If this is how they treat their friends, I'd hate to be their enemy. See you next time on the Railways. Sometimes a person's beliefs are like the influence of the sun's gravity on a planet. They cause that person to take a certain unwavering path, unable to change the course of their orbit. When they meet with an opposing will with different beliefs, they have no choice but to collide. Fate has begun to turn again. I see conflict. Serious platoon. I was just assigned to this unit. I'm Minabu Yuuki, reporting for duty as ordered, sirs. Minabu! history do you hear me answer you don't think i'll do it do you i'll offer right now no. <sighs> give me some cash now or i'll paint this floor red so be it <sighs>
Congratulations. You're dead. How many times does that make? That's three deaths, sir. Well, when you're out in space, you only have one life, cadet. How can you do your part to help your platoon if you're dead? Did you ever think of that? Or were you too busy trying to be a hero? Look, Hotshot, I don't care what the captain's orders are. I am not going to waste my time training someone who refuses to listen. Now go have Yuki take a look at those wounds. You're dismissed. Yes? Come in. Uh, hello? Miss Yuki? Are you there? Forgive me, I was changing. <laughs> Controlled training blasts may still bruise your internal organs. Being reckless may prevent you from doing your duty. I'll try. Here. This is the operations manual. You may want to start memorizing it, Luis. Right. Watch where you're going. You watch where you're going. You're the one who bumped into me. <laughs> She's a feisty one, isn't she? We belong to the Vega platoon. Normally, I'd kill a person for talking to me like that, but I'm actually kind of impressed. You're all right. Hmm. I saw you in the sim room with the Sirius platoon. Are you kidding? What are you doing with those hacks? We're the best platoon in the SDF. Why don't you join us? What for? So I can walk around the halls knocking girls down? No thanks. Man, she's like a big mouth with legs. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what a bunch of jerks. Huh? Who would still be training in the sim room at this hour? Are you trying to kill yourself or what? Huh? Hey. I didn't know you were so dedicated. I can help if you want. I'm done with my training for today. Are you crazy, Manabu? You could get hurt. Huh? Oh, yeah, the training level. I thought if I cranked it up a little, I would improve faster. I guess so. These results are incredible. Yeah, but my ranking still isn't as high as the top guys from the prep school because of my academics. So what? That doesn't matter. Hmm? Grades are important, but they only get you so far in life. I'd like to see one of those guys from the prep school survive in the simulator at this level. There's just no way. Besides, rankings aren't everything. It's what's on the inside that makes a person a good officer. Right? Hmm. <sighs> I guess I'd better call it a day. If I overdo it and get injured, I won't be any good for tomorrow. So you do have a brain. You had me worried. Huh? What's wrong? Uh, it's nothing. No worries. That training level was dangerous. I didn't know it was that high. Bruce is the one who said it for me before he left. What in the world was he thinking? He either thought I could take it, or he was intentionally trying to hurt me. on that. It's a code red hostage situation. They're requesting an immediate SDF dispatch, sir. Notify Spica Platoon. Have them in the air in two minutes. I want all updates to come directly to me. Yes, Commander. Understood. Well, hello there. What's up? Hmm? Over here, dude. Yoo-hoo, I'm talking to you. Oh, me? Here, power up. Huh? You seem kind of bummed out, like something's got you down. Here, this is loaded with calcium and protein. Uh, thanks. That's okay. Now, don't be shy. That won't get you anywhere with me. Besides, I'm no stranger. I knew your father. That Wataro was one hot spaceship captain. <laughs> You're not so bad yourself. You, you Ookies, really have all the right stuff. <laughs> Manabu speaking. Report to the main platform immediately. We're shipping out. Yes, sir. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Thanks very much. Go 
Get him, Manabu! Remember, you're a Yuuki! You can do it! System check. Stand by for system check. Subatomic warp generator ready. Orbit network radar ready. Magnetic barrier generator is go. Big one is now in takeoff position. Cylinder valves are open. Atomic boiler pressure is a go. The main circuit is now online. All energy levels ready for takeoff, Captain Bulge. The warp drive coupling is now in place. All systems green, Captain Bulge. Awaiting your command, sir. Let's move out. Ahead full. The hijacker has taken control of the 620 Express traveling from Kaitos to Sigma. Right now, he's in the third passenger car. He's demanding that we bring his ex-girlfriend to him immediately. He's considered to be extremely dangerous. Bring Catherine or I'll kill them all! No, please, sir. Wait a second. Give them some time. I'm sure they're bringing her right now. Shut up! You're lying! Where is she? If you don't bring her here in five minutes, I'll start shooting! Man, this guy's bad news. He's out of his mind. Get me, Captain Bulge. Pronto. Right. I just spoke with the captain of Spica Platoon. They've been scanning the 620 Express. She has offered little hope of negotiating a peaceful resolution. She thinks the hijacker's insane. If he thinks that we're not going to meet his demands, he'll open fire. So we're going to have to operate carefully. Luis, we're going to fly you to the 620. I want you to act like this guy's girlfriend. Right. Let's see. David, I want you with Luis. Yes, sir. I need you two to buy us as much time as possible. While you're docking with the 620 at the front of the train, we'll come up on the rear in Big One. Bruce, Manabu, I want you two to board the 620. Yes, sir. Once you're both on board, proceed to the hijacked coach immediately. The first time you see a chance to seize the hijacker without hurting any of the passengers, I want you to take it. Let's be precise, people. I want a clean operation. Yes, yes sir. Captain, I'd rather not go on this mission with him. <laughs> Let me go alone, sir. Hey, what's your problem, Bruce? What have I ever done to you? Why do you treat me like this, huh? I don't get it. There's nothing to get. I just don't like you, that's all. Your dad was an SDF captain and your brother was a panzer. Both of them were killed in the line of duty. And now you've joined up. You've got a lot to prove, don't you? Is that why you're so reckless in the sim room? Well, I don't want to get killed just because you're trying to be a hero to get the monkey off your back. I don't plan to die. I know what it takes to survive. <laughs> what do you know about surviving? This is your first mission. You're a novice. You don't know anything. Bruce, that's enough. Who's in command here? You are, Captain. There will be no changes to my plan. The mission stands as is. Prepare to board the 620. Serious platoon, suit up. We're approaching our target. Take it from here. Thanks for the reconnaissance, Julia. It was nothing, Captain. Anytime. Spica Platoon is heading home. We wish you luck. Scan download from Spica Platoon is now complete. Let's move in. Eagle One, you're now clear for takeoff. Opening hangar. <laughs> Eagle One. 
Eagle One is ready for takeoff. Launch Eagle One. Come in, 620 Express. We're requesting permission to come aboard. I have Catherine with me. Catherine's here? <gasps> Answer him, you fool! Say yes! Please, don't shoot! This is the conductor of the 620 Express. Permission to come aboard granted. Please dock with the main engine. Slowly, act scared. We're trying to buy time. Right. What's taking them so long? What are they doing? Just get on the freaking train! Hurry up! <laughs> What are you waiting for? Let's go. Right. Man, thanks, Bruce. Sorry about You're that. You're a hindrance, Yugi. You can thank me by going home. Quit the SDF. I won't do it. Don't expect any more favors. David, Luis, so far so good. Bruce and Manabu have made it on. Well, did I seem scared? Do I get an award for my acting? <laughs> Don't give me that. You really were scared to jump, weren't you? Hey, give me a little credit. I'm tougher than that. <laughs> Let's go. Right. Captain, we're in position, sir. Stand by. She boarded the train two minutes ago. She should be here by now. What's taking so long? I don't know. I'll go see. No, you stay! <laughs> Shut up! Shut that thing up now! I can't! He's scared. Please don't hurt him. He's just a baby. He can't help it. I'll try to get him to quiet down. David, where are you? Hurry up. We're almost there. Hang tight. Stop! I can't take it! Shut him up now or I'll kill him! No, please! Bruce, they're in position. Attack in 30 seconds. No! Get away! Leave my baby alone! No! Please! I can't take it anymore! I'll kill you all if he doesn't shut up right now! No! Get my baby back! <laughs> Space Defense Force! Liar! Get away from here or I'll kill him! Don't do it! No! Manabu. Passengers, everything is safe and secure. Please move to the rear coach in a calm and orderly fashion. Thank you very much. What have I done? It's over. We're gonna get you some help. <sighs> you are one crazy kid. Hey, Yuki. <laughs> that was a reckless move. You could have been killed. If you have a death wish, join another platoon. We don't want you here. All of the passengers have been taken care of. No one was seriously injured. Manabu, you've been hit. Why didn't you say something? That needs to be sterilized.
Manabu's gun doesn't fire? No, it's just a keepsake of his. It's an FW-308, the model that the SDF used to use back in the old days. It belonged to his father, Wataru Yuuki, the former captain of Big One. To our commander and friend, Captain Yuuki. Goodbye, my sons. This universe has been my home, but I must leave it for the ocean of spirit. Be brave, boys. I will always be with you. Well, well. Hey there, hero. Hey. How's your arm, Manabu? Is it okay? Yeah. It actually feels normal again. The medical technology here is amazing. They can do anything. They can't bring the huh? dead back to life. No amount of technology can do that. <laughs> here, Yuuki. Take it. But I have a gun already. It's broken. A gun that doesn't fire is worthless, Yuuki. Put that old relic on a shelf where it belongs and take this one. I know my duty. It's to protect the people and I don't need a gun for that. You can gamble your own life on that ideal, but not the lives of your platoon members. Now take this sidearm or quit the SDF. It's your choice. All right then, I'll take it. Good call. I said I'll take it, but I'm not going to use it. There. Are you satisfied now? You'll use it someday, Yuugi. It's inevitable. You can't avoid it in space. You have to kill if you want to survive. Their two opposing wills are like two trains on a crash course. The collision is imminent. Which one will survive and emerge from the wreckage is the unknown. That is a question that only destiny can answer. We have an unidentified train in Alpha Centauri. Affirmative, I'm picking it up too. Planet of origin, unknown. Planet of destination, unknown. How can this be? I recommend alerting the commander immediately. Roger that. Calling Galaxy Railway Headquarters. This is Deep Space Substation 7 reporting an unidentified train. Come in, Headquarters. All right, everyone, I hope you enjoyed this. Um, I'm going to try and make a video, uh, another one. I'll try and post an the rest of this as soon as possible. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, hit that like button. Subscribe with the notifications. It's free. If you don't like it, you can unsubscribe. It's totally free. Anyways, see ya. Hope you have a good day.